My turret damaged? Yep. Whoa, where was that one? There it is. You're a good friend, you know that? I don't even know where that was. How are there still things in this room that haven't triggered yet? Alright, so... What are you projecting? Neuromods and compensation. Trans star employees who perform at exemplary levels are also eligible to receive neuromods. Hooray, neuromods. Become a different, better person instead of who you are. The end. For once, I can't pick that one up. I think that's all we're going to find in here, unfortunately. Let's bring you with me back into the hall. Just in case. Eradicator auto turret version 0 0.7. Online. Door override. What's it say? You just beeping at me. Release. Secure. Let's release. Neat. I was able to reach through the door. More shotgun shells, but only like one at a time, which is what's getting really weird. I keep finding one shotgun shell at a time. This ranks pretty highly in rooms that are not going to be safe. I feel like. There you go. He talks about attitude adjustments a lot. That's all we've got is release and secure. No other inputs. I can't go to like a root menu or anything. Reployer. Is it just a copy machine? Elias, you left your character sheet in the, on the printer. Don't forget we moved the game to the rec center and crew facilities, and it's an hour later than usual. Do us a favor and take a happy pill before showing up. See you there. Game night. They're talking about their D&D &D characters. They have character sheets. Apparently this person's kind of a prick in their group. We have one email. Yuri. Turns out Yuri Kimura is like everyone else. I'll tell you over lunch. Are you taking damage at all? Because the door's trying to close on you. I don't think you are. It's gonna make me jump, though, so let's just get you out of that doorway. The door trying to close over and over again is gonna make me nervous. Constant background knocking. We have another safe. Good morning, Talos. All personnel should report to their workstations for the day. If you expect to be absent for any reason, please inform your immediate supervisor. Okay, so if I get the if I get a key card, I can get through here through psychotronics. If I find the fitting key card. General access. Huh. There's a general access card I can get apparently. Not on the floor anywhere. Not here. No signs of where it would be in here. Let's try climbing, just in case. Not promising. Amusing how high I can get there, though. Alright, so I don't think I have any code right now, so we're screwed unless I can hack it, which I can't for now. I think that's that. Might be time to get back to my office then and try that place out. Even try the shuttle bay. I don't really see items for them to pretend to be up here. Security. IT department? Yeah. So, I found a key card. Which one was that? They don't go into either of these places. I think this is my maximum inventory size, so I gotta be careful how much higher it gets. A lot of these items are kind of garbage, but I can probably... Yeah, they have material yields. Organic and something else. Chemical, probably. I don't know what that one is. Metal, I suppose? You can probably... Go somewhere to like turn get them uh, turn them into their organic organic compounds, their makeup. Right. 
So we want to go to the video, fi the video file location. I just want to double check whether or not I can view what our current key cards are. Keys. Ooh. Neuromod division. And now these are the places I'm looking for, really, unfortunately. We have the key cards to the trauma center. That's about it. Keep poking around. Hang on a second. Okay, human resources requires leverage three. I wonder if I can mark this kind of stuff on the map. Floor up, floor down, backspace. Oops. Tried pressing a few different buttons to see if any of them would let me type something into the uh, map, but I don't think I can leave. I, I don't think I can leave a note. Just gonna have to keep that in mind. Maintenance access only. And sales division. Okay. Piecing together what the makeup of this whole place is, basically. Look down there, there's a balcony. I think, I think that's actually where I'm supposed to go, ultimately. But of course, I'm, mess I'm just actively ignoring my objective and poking around instead. Like you do. You cannot run while carrying a turret. But I think it's largely a worthwhile endeavor. Because these things are actually really quick on the spot. I'm just wiping out the, uh... The Typhons when they show up. I haven't checked out security yet either, have I? Grab you and bring you over here. So if you leapfrog, you could actually keep setting up a turret while always having a turret right behind you, and then you'd be especially safe. But it'd also be pretty time-consuming. What do we have in security? There's some machinery around here. Waste not. It's your duty to recycle. Duty. Anything gonna skitter at me? There's the security office. Not getting through here for now. Ooh. Unless I go somewhere up here. Well, hello. Caution, slippery floor. Also, I'm kind of weirdly stuck. My character doesn't want to stand on top of this pipe, apparently. Oh, it's because there's a low ceiling, so it's like squishing me in. Can I take you with me, I wonder? That'd be great. Did I just drop you on the floor? Oh, of course I did. Yeah, I'm not getting you. There's no way. So by platforming, you have to leave a turret behind. Out of curiosity, because I might open this door from the inside, let's just preemptively point a turret at it. Opening that door from behind might be a really useful emergency situation to get me safe. Keep poking around for now. Danger. I have now fallen into a room that could be full of all sorts of hazards. And a shotgun. Well, now we know why they have all these shotgun shells everywhere. I've got a toy. It's not a toy, children. Survivor's account of the evacuation, day two. I woke up, still in the street. An M35 truck was stopped near me, and the driver was yelling at me to get in. There were several people in the back already. Four or five soldiers and about a dozen civilians, including children. I got in the truck, and somebody gave me a bottle of water. I asked what was happening, and a soldier, soldier just shrugged. I told him I had driven the M35 during my service. People in the truck were crying, and I looked back. The pink smoke was now mixed with gray and swirled high into the sky. There was so much of it, and it seemed to cover the entire city. We kept picking up people until the truck was full. Before we got to the highway, we heard shooting. The soldiers climbed down and readied their weapons. 
The commander told me to drive the truck as far as possible to the west. Then they ran towards the shooting. So he took control of the vehicle, went and fled, tried to get everyone safe, and the soldiers inside were all left. Uh, that's a nice, that's a nice detail, by the way. When you point at these vehicles, not vehicles, when you point at these cabinets, it tells you their inventory immediately. And to compensate for that, to make it make sense, the cabinets also immediately open up, like you actually are searching through them actively, giving it a nice little kinetic feeling the whole way. Another security safe. Either I need to pick up hacking, or I need to start finding some damn passwords, if you even can in this game. Maybe this is the one game where they actually do correctly hide them. The Orit, a highlight excerpt from the Song of Deborah in the Sacred Texts of Beta Israel. Judges, 526. Her hand put to the tent peg, I'm sorry, her hand she put to the tent peg, and her right hand to the workman's hammer, and with the hammer she smote Sisera, she smote through his head, ye, she pierced and struck through his temples. That's not... No. No thank you. I hate old phones. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that, honestly. New security escort, or need security escort. It's from Alex Yu to Sarah Elazar. I know you probably have your hands full right now, but we need you to send a security detail to detain Dimitri Bowser. He witnessed the incident, and he's pretty shaken. We're just not sure how stable he is at the moment. Make an assessment, and hold him indefinitely if necessary. Use discretion. Alex Yu. What's kind of interesting here is that we're... We're witnessing a place that's recently destroyed, which is pretty standard for this kind of subgenre of games. Like, uh, it seemed like a relatively recent thing when the System Shock 2 location was taken out. Bioshock seemed like it would had gone to hell a bit longer ago, but still not super long ago. This one, and, and depending on how long we were asleep, kind of seems like it's been like the last 24 hours, basically, that all of this has gone down, including a large number of these emails, basically. Something's on the station, from Elias Black to Sarah Elazar. Ma'am, you know I went to the doctor about sleep and all that. I got pills, but still been seeing things. After game night, I was cleaning up and a chair moved by itself. I'm not crazy like, uh, like you know who. I'm sending this because just after the alert, I heard something in the vent over security. I thought I saw something black up there. We need to check this out, because I'm starting to think... There's something on the station that we don't know about. Security Officer Elias Black. From Alex U to Sarah Elazar. Il... Ilyushin, I think? Please add Michaela Il Ilyushin to the watch list. She is... While, while she is currently performing her duties, her condition makes her... makes for a potential security risk, and we may need leverage. Her access should be restricted to work and crew facilities. Please don't let her anywhere near the labs. Also, flag any communications between her and Dr. Galagos out of Psychotronics. Medical is beginning to suspect that she has white noise, so the fact she has f falsified her records may be enough. Normally I'd advocate Neuromod removal, but her condition prevents this. Please uh, keep me appraised. Alex. There's a lot to get through here then so they're they're keeping an eye on people apparently they're behave like certain people are being watched for erratic behavior something apparently can cause erratic behavior apparently there's something called white noise that seems to be a bad thing that mixes in with probably the uh the neuromod situation something to work work watch out for that might be what's infecting people leading to some of the behaviors maybe even i even i even suspect maybe it may, may turn out to turn out like they have something to do with like the shades or whatever they're called, the nightmares, the specters. I forgot what the, I forgot what we're calling them. The the humanoid enemies that seem to be speaking. We'll see. Okay, missing key card. Sarah, I need you to her help tracking down a missing key card. This should be your your highest priorities. It's labeled EP one hundred one. Let me know as soon as you find it. Okay, I don't think that I don't think I've found that. Or this is Sarah's office. EP-101. Let's keep it out for a, for a missing key card, because I'm going to want that. That'll be useful. Uh, 
Any monsters nearby? This might be the room I'm, I want. Nope. It, the staircase is the next room over, so if I open that door, I've got a, I've got a backup. I've got a backup turret to help me out. Emergency procedures. Ah, EP-101 keycard. So it's the keycard to this room, then. Probably. Maybe not. With the same syllables. I definitely hear something in here. Ooh! Weapon upgrade kit. Weapon kits allow you to upgrade your weapons. To use weapon uh, kit, select the weapon you wish to upgrade in your inventory and press R. Then choose Upgrade to select from available upgrades. Note some upgrades require advanced skills, which we saw when we were in the skills, the uh, skill progression screen. Scanning target, no alien material detected. Good morning, Talos. Warning. Sampling with the There we go. Just keeping you on this side of the door. I definitely hear something in this room, I think. If you're having trouble accessing a system, please send a help away to security. Please contact It is the character sheet. Fatal Fortress. Captain Stalf Stalofellow. Player Elias Black. Age 32. Six foot two, chestnut brown hair, and huge muscles. Strength of 17, intelligence of six. Oh, that's a negative modifier. He's good with dodge and rope use and tumble. <laughs> Long sword, heavy crossbow, dagger. He's even got an inventory and so on. This is Stab Fellow is his name. I didn't see that part up there. End up there. Wow, it was, it was a, I read the hardest to read version of his name in the middle. Huh. Well, that's some fun. I don't know why I picked it up, but now it's in my inventory. 6259. Could that be a password? I could try it. Not this time. Well, I just picked up this, uh, document here, this character sheet. Is it in here? It does not show up as an item you put, you carry around. It might actually increase the chance that it's useful then. Notes. Any special numbers to keep track of here? 54, 38 on hit points. 6 for 2, 32. I don't really have a four-digit number that's standing out to me right now. Yeah, not really. So it's probably not a clue. Would have been interesting, though. I thought the dice maybe were something, too. Can I go, like, above this top board here? I can. Wow. Whoa. Hello. Wait, this is where I came from. <laughs> well, it was still impressive platforming that I was able to go back up it. But yeah, that uh, that does not actually go anywhere. Let's see. Security light. Security tapes, also obvious. Uh, generally rooms I've been in before. I wonder, I wonder if you pick something up and put it in certain positions in, the, in those rooms, if you would see them there or not. But I don't see anything that stands out to me right now. Got a button here. A series of buttons you can use. Don't see anything hidden back here, though. Proximity sensor reset. That kind of messes up the whole dice roll thing if I can throw it around, too. Are there different directions I can try with this thing? Nah. I mean, wherever I make it, whatever direction I make it face, it's gonna ultimately have, like, a series of numbers that, sta that stand out. It's also ultimately a five dice set, which doesn't match the security code, really. It was a temptation, though. It'd work better as a puzzle thing, though, if it didn't move. The fact that, the fact that you can move it 
kind of sets off the idea that it's not going to be that kind of thing. Hello. Four neuromods hidden around a corner. Thank you. What am I going to do with you guys? Oh, baby. <laughs> I've only had two until now, and I just got th four more. Let's see. Necropsy. It would let me loot stuff from bodies, get, letting me get exotic material. But I don't really have a place where I can even put those away yet. Go up our medkits, possibly. Fix broken turrets. Ooh. Tempting to use the boost for that purpose, for sure. Let's see. More weapon more weapon upgrades. Or start going ha down hacking. Let's get the turret option. I like turrets and would like to make the ability to defend them uh, and repair them. So let's go with that for now. It just seems too good to be true to be like, I want to be able to repair turrets and then get a four neuro pot, uh, a four neuro mod thing at once. There's a lot going on here. Let's take a look. Okay, so email crew and utilities. Let's try email first. Help, help, help. Now, Elias, anyone, please? From Niles Kiergaard. Proximity sensor reset. Ni help! Niles again, this is not a hoax. Life or death, help us please, now! Help, this is Niles, we're trapped in the shuttle bay. Please answer, urgent! Maybe maybe they're still there. Morgan, use office keypad. That's me. Set up a reoccurring task for setting Morgan's keypad. We're getting close. Uh, we're getting code change requests every month. It's the same pattern. Morgan asks us what the current code is, asks if it was requested, or if we chose it, then asks for a new one. It's unusual. Last time she asked, I was right there, so I told her the code, and she gave me a blank look. A code we'd set less than a week ago. Maybe she's testing our response time? So Niles is stuck in... Or is again? Shuttle Bay, yeah. Probably dead now. Crew. Hello? Can I toggle these at all? Whoa. Proximity sensor reset. That's interesting. I can make it a personal goal to track down every crew member on the ship if I want to, one by one. That's cool. Hallos lobby. Life support. Does the scroll bar work? How do I make it scroll? WASD? Arrows? There's like a scroll bar and I don't know how to use it. Oh, there we go. That's silly. Okay. So I can make it my personal go to find each person one by one. Cargo bay. Trauma center. That's I have the code for that already. Alright, so Talos lobby. Let's look for Niles. Most of these people are dead. I don't, don't think I see Niles on here. See Morgan U. Obviously, I'm doing fine. Proximity sensor reset. Don't see Niles on here. Am I checking the wrong one, I wonder? Where'd they say they were? Yeah, the shuttle bay. That's not really one of the on the list, is it? Oh, down here. Shuttle bay. Frank Jones. Checking for Uh-oh. Yep, Niles has no life signs. He appears to be dead. Alright, so let's go back to the D. I'm on the on, I'm on lobby, so let's start here. Let's look for Darcy Maddox, who is somebody who's actually alive, apparently. That seems like a reasonable goal to set. There's also a few other ones around here. Let's see if I can find and save a life, I suppose. If that's an option. Utilities. Area map. Heck yeah, we're going to download the local map. This is neat. I don't think there was... I don't think I actually had a reason I had to go here. It's just I'm getting... I'm getting rewarded for exploring, so I'm getting area map. Oh yeah, it's all filled in. And then it lights up as I explore it, so I can still tell where I have and haven't been. Neat. And I got four neuromods, so we're doing fucking fantastic right now. I thought I'd throw it through there. Oh, I'm behind the... I'm behind the counter. We've been in that hallway before when I when I was first finding the turrets. So this is the right because we're in right we're in the security checkpoint. That makes sense. I need a key card for you or a code or something. Don't really have any codes at the moment. I don't think any of the 
codes I've ever found were for, uh, were for doors. Nope. We have uh, passwords to computers, and that's it. All right. Go back out the way we came from. Hopefully, I found everything there is to find. That was neat. Do a quick save and head upstairs. We'll try this side now. Running away. <laughs> Someone will get it. We good? Ah, yeah. By the way, I can repair you now. How's that work? Do I use the wrench? Oh, wait, you're already repaired, so I can't, I can't really find out. Are you the damaged one, I think? Yeah. Can I ever repair you? That hurt you more. Okay, so it's not... You don't repair them with the uh, Team Fortress rules. Do I carry you? Deploying. Oh, fortify is repair. Oh, gee. Does it give me instructions? Fix broken turrets, not damaged turrets. So if it was fully taken down, I could fix it. Okay. So damaging it, <laughs> I thought I could, I thought I could repair it with parts. But it actually has to be fully gone. Laura McAvoy. More toxic waste. I'll go ahead and let you lay down with a little bit more dignity. Don't I have the code for this? I do. Let's go here first, though. Staff lounge. Or can I even open you? These doors are just screwed. We're not getting in that way. Probably over there, I would imagine. Yeah, you walk across that to get inside. Let's tr let's open this after all. After, do the same thing and point you at the door. Deploying. What could go wrong, right? Nothing came out yet. Let's get you on the inside of the door. I like my turrets. I feel vaguely safe at times. I'll take everything. So my inventory fills, which has to happen soon. Surely. Sylvain Bellamy tracking bracelet? It's not on them. So Bellamy was supposed to have a tracking bracelet on, and now it's not on them. Well, Bellamy died. That was the incident. That was the whole point. Get out of my way, chair. I have no enough time for you. Video game protagonists don't sit. They don't drink coffee. Ever. Literally no protagonist of a video game is ever drinking coffee. Definitely not that character from Deadly Premonition. Whoops. Hendrik de Vry, Chief Surgeon. This is where we Anna Goldcrest, Elizabeth Bay. Alright. Whoa. That's not great news. I don't really want to aggro that right now. Where's the audio coming from? Probably just something reporting it needs to be repaired. And a gold crest. Found another one. Don't know why I'm picking up all their waste. Methuselah Apple. Apple. All right. Let's see. Let's first of all, let's use up uh, one of these guys. Yeah, you're something that uh, uses up one slot. I'll let me pick up something something new, like this tracking bracelet, perhaps. Security tracking bracelet issued to all Transtar employees and volunteers. Point zero one something. That's it. Okay, so it's not really useful for... I don't seem to be able to use it necessarily. It's just sort of a thing I've picked up. How many options are there? Let's see. Size, name, type. Huh. I would definitely go with type over all else. That's the only thing that makes sense. So this is my little pieces of or organic and synthetic material, so I can turn stuff into that, ultimately. I need to get a skill to increase my inventory size. I may want to find a nice corner just to dump everything in if I can. I think that's probably an option. We should probably use my upgrade on one of these items. 
Oh, I have two wrenches, by the way. Two identical wrenches. You are worth a material yield, so I probably shouldn't just dump you in the open here. Let's try that. Oops. So you're supposed to be like the main room, right? Good morning, Talos. Our resident counselor, Dr. Cole, would like to encourage anyone experiencing symptoms of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. They've got noodles. I said send nudes and they did. 